Hey, this is part two of the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, I suggest going back and watching it. It's in the description or in one of these things up, he up here. It will be in that thing up there. Um, but yeah, uh, with that being said, let's get into the video. Stats. From here on out, things get a lot more simpler because these abilities are pretty self-explanatory. For example, Inksic Remain actually makes it to where you can shoot more times in one ink tank. As you can see here, it says I would get four shots with, you know, just all base stats. But once I put on a main of Ink Saber main, I get 5.05 .05 shots. Again, this is another situation where you can see where this is E-Leader specific stats like tap shots and fully charged shots. The next thing up is Ink Saber Sub. As you can tell, this gives you more efficiency with your sub weapon. This is like bombs, or in the E Leader's case, an ink mine. It takes it from 60% of the ink tank to 52% of the ink tank. Next up is Ink Recovery. Ink Recovery Up actually makes you charge ink faster. Next up is Run Speed Up. Run Speed Up actually helps you run faster when you're out of the ink. This is both for shooting and for not shooting. And as you can see here, it actually doesn't really do well uh, when it's stacking because, well, when you're shooting with the E-Leader, you don't move very fast. Next up is Swim Speed Up. As the title would suggest, it makes your swim speed faster. This is actually one of the better abilities in the game, and I think you should always run it no matter what you have. No matter what weapon, no matter what gear set, you always want to have swim speed. Next up is Special Charge Up. Special Charge Up, it just makes it to where it takes less points for you to get your special. As you can see here, it takes my points from 180p to get my special to 166p to get my special. And these points only represent how much ink you need to put on the ground or how much you need to hold the objective to get your special. Next up is Special Saver. Special Saver is a big help, and if you can only run one sub of it, it will definitely be worth it. Special Saver decreases the amount of penalty you get for dying when you have special meter. And as you can see here, it is a huge deal to have Special Saver. The amount of change you get, literally from just one main, I got all this difference in Special Meter. Next up is Special Power Up. And the Special Power Up is a weird one because the in-game description just says it makes your special weapon better. And what this means is very dependent on what weapon you're using. For example here, it makes my Ink Storm duration slightly longer. For something like the blaster that has a splashdown super, it shows you the size that it changes for the splashdown radius. The next one is Quick Respawn. Quick Respawn is a bit of a weird one. It's pretty 50-50 among the community. Some people think it's really good, some people think it's not that good. Uh, overall, I think it's just okay. What Quick Respawn does is after you die a few times, it makes your respawn time less. I'd say the biggest flaw of this ability is you have to run multiple to even get it to mean anything. The next one up is Quick Super Jump. Quick Super Jump decreases the amount of time it takes to perform a Super Jump. And as you can see here, with just one main, it shaves off almost half the time it would take. And if you look at the graph, you can definitely see that just running a few of these is all you need. Next up is Sub Power Up. Sub Power Up is another weird one because the description in game only says it upgrade your sub weapon now for the vanilla e-leader specifically it actually just says the ink mine tracking is just a little bit better it also makes a tracker that is put on the enemy last a lot longer i know it's a bit ridiculous but if you have an entire build with only sub power up you can actually double the amount of time the tracker stays on your enemy with the e-leader next up is ink resistance up this one is actually a really good one because it changes a few different things for example, it takes more time to start taking damage in enemy ink. It also decreases the amount of damage you take in enemy ink. It also decreases how fast you take damage in enemy ink. All in all, I think ink resistance up is also another thing you always want to have on your build. Next up is Bomb Defense Up DX. You may be wondering why this has such a long name, and that's because at the beginning of Splatoon's lifetime, these were actually two different abilities. For example, it says sub weapon damage is decreased. But this, but this ability obviously has more under its sleeve. For example, even special weapon damage is decreased. And the tracking that is applied to you, similar to the ink mine, is also decreased. And it also has different values for both the point sensor and the ink mine. And the final one we'll be going over is main power up. Main power up, if you've been in the scene at all, is very clearly the best ability in the game. Main power up is able to completely change the way some weapons play. With the E-Leader though, it just extends the range and the ink coverage. 
but the part of this ability that is starting to hurt the meta of this game is when you put it on weapons like the Spider Shot Pro. Let me explain. If you see here, the Spider Shot Pro has the ability to do either 21 damage or 42 damage. This is both at its minimum and its maximum. If you do the math, this weapon is usually a 3 shot weapon. And if you look at the damage numbers in orange, you would still think it's a 3 shot weapon. The real problem with this ability compared with the weapon is that this isn't really a 3 shot kill. Because of, the, because of the way this game works, when you shoot at something, ink hits the floor no matter what. So if you're shooting at an enemy and ink is also below them, if they don't have any ink resistance, they're going to die in just 2 shots. This is a big reason why ink resistance up is such a big part of the meta right now. In some cases, like the Bamboozler, you can even see that it does 99.9 .9 damage. That means pretty much anything that interacts with them, that does damage to them, even if it's the very, very smallest amount, they will die in just one shot in this weapon that is supposed to be two shots. With that being said, go ahead and check this website out. I think it's really cool to see what set that you're building and seeing how good it actually is for you and if you can build an even better one. And that is all for the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.